I hear the fish are coming, shoaling round the bend. I'm just gonna catch them, I just, I don't know when, but I know I gotta get them. And then I'll set them free. Cause my name is Mr. Bassman, and Bassman Bounty is me. Here we are fishing friends and welcome along. Say hello Nick. Hello. Right, so it's a bit different today. Um, I don't know if a lot of you don't know that I am a, actually a professional fishing guide part-time. So I've got a shop in Plymouth Panny Market. I run that six days a week. I also do obviously the YouTube videos, which are obviously getting better and better. Uh, but I also do a bit of guiding. So I'm out with a uh, regular client Nick tonight and he's just said hello. So he's, he's, he might be a little bit nervous because he's never been filmed, but he loves my videos. He's very, very keen. And tonight, Matthew, we're going to be going for conger eel. So we're heading out to a little rock mark off a nice little reef. Uh, Nick's got his brand new rod to christen. Got a nice competition surf, 13 foot six, black rock. And I've just got hold of a competition surf, 13 foot 10, the big boy. Yeah, so I've just got hold of that from black rock and there's not many available. And yeah, I'm looking forward to christening that because it's, uh, it's a hell of a rod. So we've got the Nagger as well. So the Ontronics Naggers, that's my go-to sort of conger rods for clients. And yeah, we're just going to go down and uh, Nick's not had any conger before. Nothing bigger than those sort of few First timer. First timer, yeah. So we did well on the, the bass last time, didn't we? And you yeah. wrinkled out a cod. So yeah, we're, um, we're, we're going to go down there now. And I'd just also like to mention, guys, hello and welcome along to the hundreds of new subscribers that i've got over the last couple of videos so it's lovely to have you on board and yes you know the last few videos have been really good and yeah it's all going really well and we're going to go and catch a couple of eels now mate you ready all good to go have you had any wheat of oh, just three three <laughs> ideal mate yeah so let's do it yeah yep so here we are we're down we're down on the rocks we're down on the mark now and uh we're just setting up nick's got his brand new rod out and yeah, we're just about to start. Uh, really, really simple tactics. There's nothing, there's nothing uh, complicated about conga fishing. So look, running ledger with a, a weak link there. So that's like, I don't know what, 15 pound line, six ounce weight. So I have used a zip slider because it's not that gnarly, gnarly here. And the first thing that's gonna break obviously is the line and hopefully I'll get the clip back and I can just like retie it. And there you have, with a, is that a leaf? Yeah, don't really want the leaf. So there you go, look, that's the sort of baits that I use when, when we're out conga fishing, especially with the clients, cuttlefish. It is the best bait, I don't care what anybody says, it's got me the best results. The crabs can't eat it, they can only just peck away at it. The little straps that come in, they can like turn on it, spin it off. It don't matter, like you just ignore it. All the little rattles, we just ignore that and wait until Mr. Big Conga comes along and you get a nice slow pullover and you know, the rest is history. So yes, yeah, so Nick's all prepped and everything. And as I say, I don't usually fish as a, as a fishing guide. I'm just usually guiding, but Nick's a regular and he's absolutely demanded that I fish a rod tonight, don't you, mate? Always pick out the extra little tip. That's right. So, and, and also he gets to see how I fish, etc. And yeah, so I've got the brand new, I'm just coming on that, look. So there's the Black Rock Competition Surf 13 foot 10. So that's the bigger version. Yours is the 13 foot six, is it? Yes. Yeah, which is a lighter rated. This is three to eight ounce. It's, it's a bit of a beast, to be honest very stiff right up until i don't know the tip you know you can you can hardly bend it so it's it's a real rough ground beast like you know um and obviously it's a, it's a bit shorter than the the competition match gt that i use that's, a, that's about that much longer i believe uh but it's it's a completely different rod you know a different sort of style of rod two piece of course so yeah we're all we're all ready to go Are you excited mate good to go right cool so yeah hopefully we'll get some eels out and get uh, Nick on, on a bit of film or holding up an eel maybe and uh, see how it goes and yeah thanks very much guys for the support lately and as ever please leave a comment reply question and uh, we'll always get back to you and yeah tight lines guys well here we are Sir Nicholas yeah we got well, him well you did, you've done really well mate we've gone through the little tiny ones haven't we and you lost a sort of half decent one early didn't you yeah that's my fault no, 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 it's all part of the learning. The other rod's peeling off behind yeah. us. But anyway, so you've christened my new Black Rock Competition Surf 1310, haven't you? Yeah, pulled it in easy. All right, go on then, mate, lift him up. And this is your first decent eel, isn't it, really? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. 
So there you go, out with the bass man tonight. I was getting a bit nervous, mate, as you know. We're running out of time. Yeah. But we've gone the extra mile, and look at the bait, look. Yeah. That is a squid bomb that I've made, and a big piece of cuttle. And she is an absolute beauty, mate. I'm going to put them down because I'm shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it down, put it down, put it down. She's a lovely eel, mate. She's not, you know, she's not massive. But she's a good, she's a good double, mate. Good, you know, mid-double, yeah. Felt massive to me, mate. Yes. So what did you think of the fight? I did tell you, didn't I? It was a good fight. I thought, I thought at first. You looked the bottom. I've snagged it. And then it started pulling the drag. <laughs> so there we go. Out with the bass man again. Yes, mate. Results. And, 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 and to be fair, I, I was fishing one rod, wasn't I? And yep. I was giving you all my fish. I wasn't taking any for yeah, myself. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about you tonight, mate, not me. I've caught loads of eels. But anyway, that just screamed off, didn't it, my yeah. rod. And I just gave it to you. And you said, it's taking line. <laughs> and you had to do the drag up, what, three times? Yeah. And it yeah. was nearly locked up. Yeah. I mean, that fish fought really well, mate. You know, she's a, no <laughs> she's a nice fish, but she ain't massive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, so you've been... Enjoyed your guided session tonight? Oh, they've always been good, mate. Yes. Yeah. So look, tonight you've learned about big, ugly baits. Yeah. And, well, you know, you've used the big rods tonight for, you know, I can hardly speak, mate. I'm buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you've, you've used the big gear for the first real time. Yeah. You know, you've put on the big baits. You've, you've gone through the heartaches and the spin-ups. There's yeah. been lots of them. But we haven't lost, well, we lost, what, one set of gear. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a lovely little rock mark we're on here tonight. Yeah. And uh, congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Look forward to next time. And can you hear your ratchet going? Oh, I certainly can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! Just give her a little push for your hands, mate. Just give her a little, give her a bit of love there. Go on then, darling. Yeah, she's got a bit of a sting in the top of the jaw there. She's away. Whoa, look at that puff of, puff of blood and she's off. Yeah. That hook was right in the top of the mouth, mate, wasn't it? Yep. Beautiful, man. Well done.